I think things are becoming more clear for early HER2 disease. I think we're firmly understanding that it's important to give neoadjuvant chemotherapy for these women, uh, not only because of Catherine, but it really allows us to see a response. Uh, we did have approval of pertuzumab in the adjuvant setting. We have approval of neratinib in the adjuvant setting. Uh, but of course, Catherine really kind of won the award here. And they defined their high-risk patient population differently than those other two trials did. The other two trials defined their patient population as being high-risk based on the size of the tumor or the nodal status. Catherine did this a little bit differently. They didn't focus on what women received in the neoadjuvant setting or what the cancer was like then. They defined their high-risk population based on the fact that those women did not have a pathologic complete response to whatever they received in the neoadjuvant setting. And doing that, I really think that that was quite smart idea. They were then able to pick out a truly high-risk population and show that benefit of over 11% in disease-free survival that we saw. So really allowing us to ask the question of, who truly is high risk and who needs more therapy versus who doesn't. So I think it's very important for us to catch these uh, women before they go to surgery and offer them neoadjuvant therapy uh, really as a way to classify their risk and decide what additional therapy they may need.